Welcome back, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Pushing PX888K uh, handheld radio. This is a dual band radio. Um, I bought it off of Amazon. It cost me uh, $95 Canadian. Um, there was no tax. There was actually no import charges on it because it did come from China, so I was very happy about that. And so yeah, um, I previously owned one of these radios. I wanted a second one, and I figured since I have it all nice in the box and stuff that I do an unboxing and just show you what you guys will get with this radio. So, comes in this box, has all the information on it. Um, company name is Pushing. The X is like a sh sound, so I hear a lot of people call it Puxing and stuff, but from my understanding, it's pronounced Pushing. Uh, this is the PX888K model. It comes with a dual band, uh, has a display on it. And then it has like tons of features. Um, it was a toss up between this radio and a Baofeng UV5R, but I decided to go with another one of these because I already own one and I wanted to look at some of the more advanced features that you can do. And from my understanding, both radios have to be the same one to be able to use, like, I think it is ANI for encryption. And um, I know the rest of it can be done, but there's a couple of features that. Having two of the exact same radio, you can use those features then. So let's get into it. Let's open the box and see what we get. All right, to start off with, you get a manual. Uh, since I have had this radio already, um, some of the instructions are a little bit hard to uh, understand and just... Uh, Especially when programming channels in, it took me a little bit. Um, but the rest of the book is pretty good for all the features that it comes with. So you got your manual. Uh, you got a label. Uh, this is a back clip. So since I want to set it all up as well, so. This is a clip for the back for putting on your belt or whatever. Comes with a charging base. I'm not worried about unwrapping this because I have one already set up over here from the other radio. You got your AC adapter. You have your antenna. It's nice and bendy. You have your radio. I also like these radios because they're very small. They're easy to hold in the hand. So let's get this opened up. Got a silica packet just for moisture. Don't need that. So it is UHF and VHF. Got that right there. Um, I like the fact that where the battery connects, they have this waterproof liner so that you don't fry your battery on it if you do get it a little wet. I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but it's pretty watertight, the radio. All right, and we have the battery. Let's get this open. It's got a little bit of a shine there. But it's a 7.4 Lion battery. There we go, 1200 milliamps per hour. I'm curious, because I bought my last radio a year ago. Yeah, exact same battery.
A lot of radios out there have actually the knobs on the right hand side while this one has it on the left hand side. I find that I like it better on this side. That was another reason why I went for this radio. It's just for one hand operation. So, yeah, it's got a good charge on it. So I thought I might have to pre-charge it. <laughs> uh, so this is your volume and turn on. Uh, this is to go channel, through your channels. Channel, channel three, channel four, channel five, channel, channel one. Uh, there's a lot of features on this radio. So if you hit menu, and then you can scan. scroll through and scan. So there's your power high low. That's the scrambler. That's one of the features I want to try and use. It's supposed to like when you're talking to someone and someone else is listening in and they don't have the right code, then uh, they can't understand what you're saying. Channel two, oh. channel one, menu, priority, scan, power, squelch. Display color. So light, this is for your display colors. You can turn it off. You can have blue, purple, and red or green. I forget. Tone. Beep, so that's when you push buttons. You know, beep. Tone. Set. So we have it on English. ID code. So this is the ANI, and from my understanding, I'm not an expert on these, but this allows you to, uh, if you have both radios using the same ANI code, then only they can communicate with each Menu. other. Box scram noted to ID code key lock keyboard I'm not sure what that is. So there's your wide and narrow band. I'll be setting this radio to narrow band. Auto light set 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 skin. So that's a lot of the features that it comes with. I know it does have radio, I think if you hold down menu. There we are. Class. 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 Menu. Escape. So that turns on. So it does have a radio. Um, if I turn this one on. Um, menu. push-ups and run miles a day and I really it's came out loud. with my mindset I can see somebody went to shocking in I came out with my mindset like yo um, also it comes with the Kenwood jack for your headsets which I like they're not too expensive to buy so I'm gonna turn off this radio and turn off this radio and then I had a previous video and I was having problems with the cable not communicating and people asked me how did I fix it? Well basically it was buying a Balfang cable for the UV5R. Um, see if I can get that focused in. So this was the cable that I bought and uh, this lets me communicate through my computer to the radio and program it a lot easier instead of having to do all the channels manually. I can just type them all in and then transfer the file over to the radio. So if any of you guys are curious about uh, what I used to be able to do that, this was the cable that I bought for that and this one works perfectly with the software. So there's nothing else in the box. Don't need that anymore. Uh, so yeah, I bought, I wanted a second radio because I wanted to start learning these. Like I said, by no way am I a professional or expert at these. Um, but I am going to try and make some new videos in the future of just uh, programming them using the software on the computer and then getting into some of like the Scrambler and the ANI and such and just some of the advanced features and see if I'm able to get them to work. I'm sort of self-teaching myself this stuff. So yeah, just thought uh, you guys might be curious about these radios and what features they have with them and just see what you get. Um, so have a great day, have a great week and take care.